so first up we have fraps and i'll talk about everything at the end of the video but here we go all right so obviously fraps has a more vivid kind of look to it uh you guys can't really tell right now because i haven't showed the other one but fraps has more vivid look to it uh also it is a whole lot less laggy in my opinion but it does cost money so that's it now on the OBS or Open Broadcasting Service, this is the other thing I tried out. So as you can see, it's not very vivid at all. It makes things a whole lot darker. Uh, it obviously uh, looks laggier, in my opinion. And the upside to it, though, it's free, so you won't have to pay like $30 for a uh, recording software. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys them together. And uh, OBS on the right and Fraps on the left. So, as I said before, uh, Fraps is a whole lot more vivid. You can see that just in the colors. And it Fraps runs so much smoother. Not to douse on OBS, because if you're going to Twitch stream, it's great for that. But otherwise, it's not. So, as I was saying in the beginning about talking about everything at the end, um, Basically, that was a comparison between two recording softwares that I've been trying out, and as you know, it's Fraps and OBS. Now, uh, I, I was watching a few videos, and people were saying that OBS was amazing, and you don't need to pay for Fraps or any uh, money cost and things like that, just because uh, OBS is free. And it does a great job. Now, I was watching a video, and this guy was playing Crisis 3. And I was watching it, and it did look amazing. I'm like, I can do that for uh, Minecraft or whatever games I play. It looks so good. And then, when I went to try it out for myself, it was absolute crap. So, I don't know if he just like kind of made it corny or something or what happened because mine didn't look like that unless crisis 3 just completely owns and it looks amazing but mine did not look good at all then again i think you did have a pretty beast computer so that's that uh but honestly in this battle i think i'm probably gonna have to go with fraps for recording purposes now, streaming purposes, obviously Fraps can't do that. XSplit costs a lot of money, and from experience, it's horrible. That That's just from my experience. Now, of course, if you have a pretty beast of a computer, you can do that, but I only have 4 gigabytes of RAM on mine, which is not horrible, but obviously that's basically bare minimum for technology today. Including an Elgato, which you need four gigabytes of RAM in order to uh, even record with the Elgato, and I have exactly that. So I think I found a way to pretty much add on more RAM, but that's a whole different story. Um, but I don't, I don't really know. I think I think I'm gonna go with Fraps for uh, recording purposes, just because it's more vivid. And, uh, it's more vivid, more vivid, and it basically just gets the job done leg free, almost leg free. Um, so, yeah, that's basically the comparison. Uh, I, I couldn't find some redstone today, so I'm like, hey, I've been trying this out, and I, I want to put this up. So, that's what it did, and hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, obviously, it's not really gaming. It's gaming related for those of you who want to record. Um, so, that's that. And basically, or not basically, next time, um, I, I think I'm gonna, yeah, next time I'll do a Fraps versus, uh, Fraps versus XSplit. Just to show you guys XSplit. And why I don't like it. Now, uh, after that, I'll get into the basically three main softwares that people know. 
which is uh, Bandicam, Dextory, and obviously Fraps. Now, if there's another software out there, uh, definitely tell me. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'll be looking out for another one on Friday. And, as always, guys, I'm Simon Max Demons from Demon Nation TV. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.